man it's a struggle trying to get a perfect angle for this for this um video oh i'm just over here turning my camera all over the place guys how you guys doing how you doing how you doing how you guys doing welcome back to my youtube channel guys my name is Bukola Rodeo Yakov aka B R Y. if you're new to my channel thank you thank you thank you thank you so much for clicking on this video man oh it's been a while I did um a video yes I mean if you guys are looking at all the videos trust me it's gonna look it's, it's actually gonna look like I'm always shooting but no I'm not always shooting a video you know i've had i have several videos lined up i have several videos i'll be shooting like maybe every three weeks every two weeks you know but i hope that you guys i hope you guys are enjoying all these beautiful videos that i'm giving you guys i hope you guys are are, 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 are happy for me i hope you guys are enjoying all these videos that i'm giving you guys i'm trying so hard to make sure that um that I cover everything. I'm trying so hard to make sure I give you guys every information that is needed, every information that may, that is gonna benefit you or benefit someone that you know. I'm trying as much as possible to keep blogging. I'm trying as much as possible to keep giving you guys videos, and I'm gonna keep doing it. You know, because to be honest with you, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I've learned by watching other people's video. I've actually learned a lot by watching other people's video. So. I don't see why I should now have information and not hold it to myself, you know. That's why I said, you know, we are on this journey together. I hope you guys are on this journey with me. I hope you're enjoying all this video I'm giving you guys. I hope you guys are keeping me in your prayer. In your prayers. In your prayer. I hope you guys are keeping me in your prayer, okay. I hope you guys are praying for me. As you watch this video, I hope you're blessed. If you're praying to God, if you're looking forward to any blessing, whatever fruit of the womb, whatever marriage, whatever you trust in God for, as you watch this video, at the end of the video, just say Amen. Or right now, just say Amen, okay. I pray that you get it this year in the name of Jesus. Whatever that you are trusting God for, all you need, to, all I want you to do is just have faith. I'm not a pastor, okay. I'm not a pastor, okay. Whatever you trust in God for, I want you to trust God, believe God, and know that God will do it for you. Trust me. There's nothing. This is my belief. There's nothing difficult for God to do. There is nothing, absolutely nothing, difficult for God to do. If God says it, it will come to pass. If God give you that vision, if God has given you that dream if god has given you that revelation if god gave you that revelation if god showed it to you in your dream if god revealed anything to you trust and believe me trust and believe me it's we come to pass it might not come when you it, it might not come now it might not come tomorrow it might not come when you're expecting it but trust me it will happen it will happen and that time when it happens trust me is the best time there's never the blessing of God what the waits. The blessing of God what every minute, every second that you wait. Okay? Trust me, He will give the best. God gave the best to his children. And if you're a child of God, God will give you the best. Even though you might be thinking, you might be looking and saying, Oh my God, um, I wish I had this blessing. 10 years ago i wish i had this blessing i wish god has blessed me I, I wish this blessing came five years ago i wish i've met my husband 10 years ago i wish i've trust me at the appropriate time when the time is right oh jesus christ when that time is right that's when you're gonna meet the right person it's never too late oh my goodness i'm 40 year old i'm just having baby trust me god get go god allow. there's a reason why god waited for you to be 40 before he blessed you with that child there will, there's a reason why god waited before blessing you with a child you might think you were ready in your 20s you might think you were ready in your 30s but god but guess what god knows that you weren't ready that's why he waited for you to be that particular age before blessing you and guess what god never gives his own children a jekyll 
God never gives his own children leftover. No, he gives his own children the best, the best of the best. And believe me and trust me that the God is going to give you the best. That blessing, that time that that blessing comes, it will be the best. Trust and believe me. All you need to do is just have faith in God. Hold on to him. Believe in him. You know, when you may tarry, he may look like you. Everything, he, he, everything may look like, oh God, God, I'm a good girl. Why keep, why, why I keep falling for bad boys? I used to say that, okay? I'm a good girl. Why these guys keep, be, keep betraying me? Guess what? Because you've, met, you've not met the right one yet. When the right one come, he will never betray you. When the right one come, he will never, he will never, 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 never betray you. He will be faithful to you. He will love you. He will adore you. He will cherish you. He will love you as Christ loved the church. Trust and believe me. That there's nothing as good as holding on to God. There's nothing as good as having faith. Having a godly man. A godly man will love you. A godly man will honor you. A godly man will treat you like the princess, like the coin that you are. That's my belief. Why am I preaching now? This just came over to my head right now. But this is not why we're here. So let's go to the video, okay? So I'm showing you guys my 20, 27 weeks. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So that's why we're here. I am here to show you guys my 27 weeks, okay? Okay. That's what we're here to do. We are not here to preach. I am not a preacher. I am not trying to be a preacher. But I am here to show you what 27 weeks has been for me. Okay? Mm -hmm. So this is a... It's, oh, I think this line over here is the fan. Don't worry. My next studio, you guys will love my next studio, okay? Uh, you guys already know we're moving. We're moving, we're moving. We're moving very soon. So you guys will love my next, my new studio. Very big. So have enough room. Mm. Okay. See, this is one thing about this pregnancy. This is one thing about me when, when I'm pregnant. My butt is always flat. So I flat my butt. I have my baby and my, my butt will shoot out again. But pregnancy always make my, make my butt so flat. So this is it guys, this is it, this is 27 weeks, yeah, I mean this is it, 27 weeks, mm-hmm, yep, mm-hmm, 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 you know I had a C-section with the twins, so that's why I have this map, that's why I have this right here, if you don't know, if you're new to my channel, I had fibers, so, when they wanted to take the fiber out because it was a lot so they had to cut it straight so if you don't know i had fibroid before having the twins yes i did have fibroid and i see that we just found we just found out um a couple of months ago before getting pregnant that, that, that they actually found um seven seven um little tiny fibroids yes so well, it was nothing anyway i mean it's very common among um um black women african american women or black women very common so it was nothing but is it they're very little they're not that big so i still have some you know so i think i'm gonna decide if i want to take them out or if i'm gonna end up doing um taking my uterus out that's gonna be later on you know that's the, that's one decision that I, I need to sit down with my husband and we need to make but at the end of the day, it's my decision if I want to do that, you know, so, you know, I'm, I don't know what I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not sure what I'm going to do, if I'm going to take it out or leave it. I don't know yet, you know, because I still want to have more children. But after this, my husband said it's done. Well, I guess what? I don't think we got, I don't think we are done yet. I'm not sure if we don't yet, okay? Well, he said after this, that's it, that we we're not having more children. But I still want more kids, you know, and they don't have to be biological kids, you know. We could adopt. That's one thing that we talking. About. I mean, that's one thing we've always always um discussed. You know, before, even before we got married, we've always talked about you know adoption. You know, because you know there's several ways to become a mother. You don't have to be, you know, they don't have to be your biological children. You know, you can adopt kids. You can look for surrogates to carry your babies for you. You know, so you know, so that's one 
thing I'm trying we planning on we planning on doing you know if later on in life not now you know maybe like a couple of years to come you know um so you guys be like what is that line right there why she got a big line over there i got this big line over here because i did have surgery twice okay they had to cut me twice okay and you know my fiber wasn't something really small you can just cut in the bikini line no they have to like tear my stomach boom and bring all the fibers out it wasn't like small thing you know like you just cut like in a little bikini line no it was so big the doctor was like we have to dead and bring it out boom 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 okay <laughs> so that's what happened that's why i got this big line over here you know that's the big cuts for the doctors yeah my good doctor my dad that doctor was a was a girl sent man it was my angel to be honest with you guys you know because funny enough he actually resigned no he he first moved to a different branch another city i followed him over there the office was very close to me as soon as i met him a couple of weeks after i met him so he transferred to a different branch i followed him over there followed him over there did my surgery after we did my surgery I kept going to him because I really like him. I kept going to him, you know, for consultation. And the next thing was like, he's moving again. I said, ah, Uncle, where are you moving to? Me, I'm already liking you. I'm already coming over here. I'm coming over here. You know how long it takes me to drive all the way from my house down here. Where do you want to move to again? Tell me, anywhere you go to, we shall going together. We're going together. Where are you moving to? So it was like, um, I'm going out of state. I said, ha, ha. you're not going, you know, because me, I cannot go, me, I cannot come out of state to come and see you there. You're not going, you're going to stay here. He was like, no, that he's not going to be working for my insurance company no more. That he's not going to be working for the, um, my insurance, uh, my ex insurance company that is moving, to, that he's going to work, he's moving to another state to work for a different, to diff different company or he's going to start his own, he's going, he's going to start his own clinic or something like that. I was so sad. I was like, no, you can't leave me over here, blah, blah, blah. He was like, trust me, don't worry. I'm going to make sure that I introduce it to the right doctor that is going to take care of you, blah, blah, blah. He was an angel. I'd be searching for the right doctor to do my fibrosal surgery. That's why I said, even if you have the money, make sure you take your time so you go to the right person. I've said this in several of my videos. Even if you have the money, make sure that you go to the right doctor. Please go to the right doctor before you have your surgery, okay? Please, it's very, very important. And pray about it. Look, I believe in the power of prayer. I believe so much in the power of prayer. So make sure you pray about it. Don't just See, I got the money, boom, you just go ahead. No. You know, it's good to have the money, but you also have to pray about it. Before, you know, because any doctor that wants to lay their hands on you, you need to make sure you pray before they do any surgery on you. Very, very important. That's my belief. Do whatever works for you. If you don't, if, if you want to follow mine, if you want to, if you want to take some advice, you can please do that. But if you don't want to, do whatever works for you. That's 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 always my thing. You know, people think I'm rude when I say, you know, do you? It's true because I'm trying to tell you what I did that works for me. Because when I'm trying to tell you something that I did that works for me, but you want to come over here and start questioning, questioning me or questioning what I told you, you know. So I'm not look. I'm not here to fight nobody. I'm not here to go back and forth with nobody. Just do whatever works for you. That's my thing, okay? Do whatever works for you. I will advise you based on my experience, based on what I know, you know. So if you if you feel like oh she's I'm wrong, it's okay. I love I love I love um I love having debates with people. I enjoy having debates with people, but make sure that's why you, why you trying to, um, what's the English? I don't know. What's the English? Why are you trying to, um, I don't know. My is not here to so quickly bring it, you know, because you work hand in hand. If I, if I remember something, I don't know. You just, you know, I'll tap from him, but he's not here now. Anyway, so, you know. I love I love having debates. I love people. You know, I, I'm not always. I, I never I never said I know it all. I never said I, you know I have the answer to everything. You know, my method may be wrong. You may have a very simple, easy method of getting things done. It's okay. You know, but make sure that you're not rude 
in your comments make sure you're not rude in in whatever you're trying to say you know in 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 passing your message okay make sure you're not rude okay that's my thing you know anyway so this is the video this video is just to show you guys we are what we are 27 weeks okay Let me move there for you guys a little bit. See, where I'm going to fall down, that's I, I sleep tonight. Drinking on uh, serious, so I have energy, okay. <laughs> this is my twenty seven weeks dance. <laughs> There's no music, but I'm playing music in my head. <laughs> <laughs> 